I'm yeah. drinking Ozempic every day. I mean, it's not working. I take Ozempic. Yeah, how's it going? Good. I'm down 35 pounds. Did you forget to eat? Yeah. Is it weird? No. It just seems weird. Did you take it? No. How oh, dare you? Say- All right. Welcome to Out and About. It is Wednesday. We have an awesome guest. Joel McHale is on the show, but we're going to chat a little bit before we get to him. Oh, very big news. Nana is now a spiritual advisor to not one, but two children, which means that you are looking at two men of God before you right now. Are you now. a godfather too? Yeah, I'm a godfather too. Okay, you know what? Um, those are called children of God. Mm. Do you know what I mean? Talk to me. Well, I went to the chat. Well, I, first of all, I needed a costume to wear, so I hit up my friends over the black tux. I looked snazzy. There we go. No, the midnight outfit? blue. I saw the midnight blue. The it midnight was, it wasn't blue midnight blue, it was just blue. It wasn't midnight blue? Blue suit is called. That's what I was wearing. Was it edited, the photo? No, I mean, airbrushed. Let's no, air- not airbrushed. Okay. You look great. That's what I'm getting at. Well, it was the suit. Um, and I went to the church, um, and then we anointed her upper chest with oil. What does that mean? The priest was rubbing her boobs with, like, oil. <laughs> the priest goes, okay. <laughs> <"Huh-oh."> <laughs> um, then we dunked her head, and she looked like she looked like um, Eileen, whatever her name is, from Monster, when she came back up from the water. <laughs> Wait. I have a video side by side. you want to see it? Yeah. Is a, confer- is a communion? They dunk your head. Are they Catholic? No, this is not communion. She was, she was, she's been a, devil, a child of the devil for many years. She, she was never baptized. Just like her godfather. Well, Leah is... She's she's it, she's a, a devil worshiper. She's a radical Islam, is what no, I thought. No, she's she's not Christian or Catholic. She's some other like weird religion called like Episcopalian, Episcopalian, so or, or Lutheran or something. The, no, in the tub? Lutheran. So she she believes in some kind of dark sided thing. Not she's Catholic. <laughs> so that's that's why she doesn't know. What, what do there. She's, she's Southern Baptist, y'all. So she didn't want to have the baby um, christened. Didn't care really to have it done. She she, she doesn't follow that religion. But the husband oh. is. Is um Catholic, so so that's why we had to wait so long to get baptized. So then, and they actually dunked them not in water, but in goat's blood, is what I've heard. Well, it was actually for loco. <laughs> <laughs> it was for loco. Oh, no, I can't picture. believe people are still religious. Honestly, no shade to people who are. It just seems strange that in 2023 people are getting fucking dunked. It. Yeah. I went to Zach's nephew's christening. They have the baby naked in front of everyone, cock out, and they're rubbing fucking oil on him. It's, in, it's insane. They're Greek. Can I show this to the camera? Um, yeah, I don't find out. Who's this lady? The, this is shocking. The lady That's who, Charlize Theron. Yeah, but who did she play in this movie? Eileen. I, Eileen Warnos. Eileen. Eileen Warnos. She can get washed. That's really great. That's Reboa. Wow. She looks scared. It's got to be strange when you're a kid. I don't know. Well, there remember. was a gay guy pl- throwing water at her. The priest was gay? All priests are gay. <laughs> well, do Mom, you should, we any- the, should we invite the priests to the party? Yeah. Should we invite members of the clergy? Yeah. Do you feel any different now that you're set in church? I, I'm surprised you didn't burst into flames when you walked through the door. I do feel different. I am thinking about um, donating my time there. In what sense, dear? To the congregation. <laughs> <laughs> I could see you as a secretary in the rectory. Come Wait, on in. Have they ever had a porno that has <laughs> yes. uh, the, um, the thing turned into a glory hole? Like the, the, the confessional turned into a glory hole? I, I, I'm sure you could find it pretty this easily. This <laughs> calls for this TV screen, Marty. Let's I don't, have my, I don't have my laptop. But, we oh. gotta, he doesn't have his, I'll look it up here. I'm sure they have one. I wish that if, if that happened there, I'd be a little bit more jazzed. Not the, not the priest, though. You would suck a priest off. Don't kid yourself. I have sucked a priest off. Booth. Have you? Yes. A priest? The 90s? He was a deacon. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at this confession. He was a deacon. Confession booth porn. Go ahead. Ew, okay? it's women. Ew, put those slappy, slap, those milk bags away. <clears throat> look at, oh yeah, look at, it's all cocks. This one must be Southern Baptist. That's a black dick, y'all. Well, that's great, Joey. I'm glad. Um, Can I plan something for Pride that I haven't talked yes. about yet? And I, yes. I'm sure Eric will fly us there. <laughs> I want to go to Westboro Baptist and, and go to the gay house and trans house and do a video of us like voguing down the street or like maybe I'll have a, a, a lemonade stand. I have never supported an idea more How in my life. How much fun would that be? Just, a just, just a frog through the day interviewing locals. Yeah, I think we should do Man it. Man on the street. We should go to Topeka, Kansas. That's where the house is. Yeah. And then we vogue down the street. Maybe we even break in. Or they're packing there. They got it. Or in Kansas. Yeah. Or oh we go in up. We go in Geesh. We go into straight boy Geesh. <laughs> and we try we go, and we seduce. Go into, we go into Muslim Geesh. What was it called? What's the religion called? Muslim Geesh. They're uh, Christian. Are they just straight up Christian? Muslim? Yeah, yeah, I, 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 I mean, it's, a, it's insane Baptist. Yeah. We go to we go yeah. to, to full on Baptist Geesh where I guess we can just get like, you know, you show up as a Mennonite? I with the, fuck, with we, the have to, we have to fuck a sibling before we get there? Um, are there lots of fuck siblings, just not each? Just I don't people? know. 
they mind fuck their own children. I know that. That's the funniest part of the Westboro Baptist is when the kids, the kids are just as Do you want to throw a spray paint on the, on the children screaming, uh, God, hey, on the street? Yes, of course. I'd love to. How big is the church now? I don't think there's, I don't think there, there must be more than, there can't be more than 10 people in that thing, right? There's old, no, there's old big. faithful who looks like a fucking dogger with the hair. They're big. They're big physically, the women? The church, the church oh. is big. Maybe I, I could go in, like, I can protect, I can uh, go in disguise as a local baker, giving, <laughs> offering, offering, um, offering pastries to the, to the clergy. And then you tell them that I was the homo who tried to get you to bake the cake. Yeah. And that's our end. Hey, y'all, I had a queer come over with the cake. Yeah. I actually drove by Westboro Baptist Church once. I was in Emporia, Kansas when I worked in tech How in many the is early there? 2000s. There's one. I thought it's in Topeka. It is. I was in Emporia. I drove to Topeka. and Just to see the bash Just to see the bash house. And then the house next to it is painted in gay It's across colors. the street. Typical gays. want all. They want to make it all about them. There's a trans them. house and there's a gay house next Is there a trans house and there? The, tra- the, the gay house has a Black Lives Matter flag on it. The house of trans? Which one would you belong to? Belong to the house of Saint. If you Alon. could visit one of three houses, Mary Fuck Kill, Westboro Baptist House, Trans First. House, Gay House. First, Westboro Baptist. Fuck, tr- fuck them. Oh, you marry them. I'd marry the Westboro Baptist. Okay. I'd fuck the trans and kill the gays. <laughs> I have no retort. She's honest from the heart. She's never lied. She's never lied before. If I know Nana, that's the <laughs> that's the order from old Nana. Who else is going to do my sewing? <laughs> Stop. Who's going to do my this frontal license, my, fr- my frontal unit install. Oh my God. Yeah, that would be fun for Pride. We have Pride coming up. Next yeah. Friday, we're going to do a little Pride show. I ordered a bunch of shit online. Who do you want from the office to come in since we can't get guests anymore? We've been blacklisted. What does that mean? I don't know. We have a big guest this week. Well, we have Joe McHale this week. Then we have another one Friday, potentially. I think maybe we kick it off for an old school Joey Pat episode. Maybe maybe we get Nick and KB and we seem to kick it off with them every yeah, year. Maybe I support we do that. vision boards. No, 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 no. You don't want Joey and you no, don't want- Nick I want and- that, but I think we should just get fucking belligerent and- yeah, I would love just to get do a fucked up. episode. Yeah, let's get it. Let's do a, 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 an unhinged gay episode. It's going to be in the afternoon. It's going to be, Good. we're starting at like 3.30. Okay, so the thing is- Yeah, no, let's no, get no, fucked no. up. I'm only doing this if, and Marty, you're not, you're not excluded. Okay. Someone's going to go to the car. Stop. For what? Pizza delivery? Yes. <laughs> and, 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 and let me to, tell you, it's a white pizza, and we, babe. And we can go out after. What day of the week? Wednesday. Who cares? Wednesday. This Wednesday. Yeah, two days from now. Are we doing it two days from now? Yeah. Oh, For shit. Next. Oh. I have to do. I have to work here that day. What do you have to? We're here all week. I'm baby. doing, I got hired to do a prosthetics makeup for, um, for Freidelberg on Wednesday. Are, are you are charging we working, his Are we working ass? Wednesday? What time are we working on Wednesday? All day. All night. You're working the street. Wednesday, we're cooking. We're making mamitas on the night, night time. We'll figure it out. But um, I so we can't get fucked up because I have to stay in work. I mean, listen, we can have a cocktail. I think we're both, we both know that we know when to stop and we never go too hard. So I think it'll be easy <laughs> to do. Was that a moxymoron? That was a moxymoron. Correct. Um, can I tell you what I did yesterday? How was your weekend? I'll tell you about my, I had a great weekend. You tell me first. What did you do yesterday? Because now I'm interested. Well, who did you do? Where did you do it yesterday? I All say. over the place. And then Nana swallowed a load. She did. And that load was. Listen, I woke <laughs> up did. feeling defeated. I, I, my house is in a mess. The ladies haven't been there since last Tuesday. They come tomorrow. I would quit if I was on your cleaning ladies. Um, so I, I'm feeling cluttered. I'm trying to, I'm trying to purge. I went to the storage. So, so I want to go to the storage <laughs> unit. Cause I got this huge box of new pots and pans. And Shout out Caraway. Caraway. Love Caraway. So it's this huge box. It's like hundred pounds and it's like taking up so much room in my little house. So it's like, I have to get this editor. So I said to my boyfriend, I said, let's go to the storage unit today. But that's, that wasn't, that's not where the treat ends. When you go to the storage unit, that means you're right next to the Target, Costco. Oh no. Costco, Target. Um, out with the, the old, in with way more new. Yeah. So I went, so not, I went to the storage unit. I put away my, some things, some, some uh, pieces. I also put away all of my recording equipment that I used to record myself with before I had to, I had a team. Um, <laughs> I put that away. And then we went to Costco. Let me tell you, I got a new Costco card. Oh God. Here so we go. I just- thought this, actually, you know what? I'm happy about this because the summer of no spend, this is good. This is going to save you money. Do you mind? Take it for a spin. Well, I know I lost my other Costco card. Marty. She's serving. If we could go ahead and zoom in on this. <laughs> now this is this a mug shot? I was very tan there. Joseph Camasta, member number. That's a take you know, it. Where you you know, he's a gold star. Yeah, we're gonna this card. So I went in there now. Let me tell you what I got. 
Don't let it rip. I forgot what I got, but I did go to get, <laughs> I got Target. I bought Bay all new bedding. I bought him a new fan. This is where you're spending too much money. You're spending money on Bay. You got You need to sit. He should be the first one that gets cut off from the spending. If you're no. trying to get a house, does he buy you anything? Yeah. What? Time? Um, always <laughs> gifts. Always cute little gifts. And Sanity. Surprises. <laughs> anyway, so I bought all new bedding for that. And then I got some new socks and underwear. But then I was getting the, I got home and I got, I was organizing everything. I, I went to my kitchen. Wait, you see what happened. I went to my kitchen cabinets were cluttered with all the shit. And I was like, I just want to get organized. Isn't that the best feeling when you just throw shit out? I throw yeah, out every, right. oh, that's why. Cause Costco, I bought all my spices. Uh, spices? Um, Costco, you only go to Costco for, for, bulk, for bulk spices. <laughs> so I, I decided to throw out all my spices. Mm. And I, you know, I, Nana has, I had some garam masala from 1994 oh, in there. I'm aware. Turmeric and, you know. Turmeric. Unami mushroom seasoning. It's like all these like fucking oh. weird seasons that I have. I threw it all out just in my core seasons that I got. And I got the big size. Yeah. From So when I got there, I did my cabinet over and then I got, I didn't stop there. Then I got, I went to go get um, mason jars. This is the first one. You said that weird. Mason jars. <laughs> and Why are you playing this music? This is your cleaning music? No. Can I tell you what happened today? Yesterday? What? What? I don't have a video of it, but. Oh. Do you the next can one. Cook, Slide over. You can cook any meal. I told, I told, I, I was my house yesterday. I said, Alexa, play cleaning music. And that fucking bachata music came on. I was like, that, she's a shady bitch. She yeah. is a shady bitch. Well, she's learning from the best. She's listened to your fucking conversations all day. I know. I was like, I was like, I want, I wish, I wish I was recording when they did that. I want to redo it to make a video for everyone else to see. Um, I'm going to say this is a live reenactment of what happened to me. Cause I don't want everyone to think that I'm, that I'm lying about it. That it really happened. I was, I screamed work. Bitch. <laughs> <laughs> so how long did you clean for? How much shit did you throw out before you brought it? I thought so much. I cleared the entire refrigerator. I just feel lighter. I feel more um, at ease at peace. Well, you look at peace. You see, I want to throw my couch out next. You s Don't throw it out yet. Wait until you move to your new place. Then you get a new couch. Where are you going to put a new couch? You want to get a couch that's sized to your new apartment. No, I don't want the couch in the house anymore. I just want to get rid of everything so I can have an empty space. So you can do gymnastics? For cartwheels. <laughs> I was going to say round offs because you're gay. Um, um, well, good, Joey. If anyone wants my apartment, I can leave anytime I want. Um, but I need so I have to find a suitable, uh, a suitable person to move into my apartment before I leave. What about Sanj? She has a house. She does? Where does she live? She lives uh, in Where's address, Sandra? Address and unit number, please. Where is Sandra? I don't know. She might have a doctor's appointment or yeah, something? Yeah, I think that's where she is. Oh, there she is. No, nope, that's Dave Sokol. Close. <laughs> <laughs> they do look similar. Well, that's good, Joe. Um, you had a much more productive weekend than I did. I did. I know it's Wednesday. We're talking about our weekend. I had an old- Do you old have chia seeds at your house? Chia seeds? Do you keep chia seeds? No. Why? Do you need some? I, no, I have enough. <laughs> You're just asking? It's in, the bulk spice. it's in the bulk It's in the bulk grain section oh my in my God. house. I'm trying to clean our shit up. Me and Zach are thinking about moving, but I think we're going to stay just because it's a really good deal. When but is we your lease up? Our lease is up in July 31st. Oh, wow. So we're going to stay. We had an old school New York weekend and I actually texted Old school Joey. Nuru? Old school Nuru. <laughs> old school New York. I went out at noon on Saturday. In Manhattan? Or in Manhattan Hamptons. to a friend's birthday. Then I went to a bar. Then I went to an apartment. Then I went to Barracuda. Then I went to Boom Boom Room. And uh, next thing you know, it's 2 a.m. And I'm just getting home. But it felt good to have. It's what it's nice every once in a while to just go out and just go home. Why were you canoodling? And uh, you didn't tell anyone about your new wheelchair. Oh, I did get a wheelchair. Well, Zach's mother had a horrible break on her. So great news. Zach's mom <laughs> broke her leg, <laughs> and she has a wheelchair, which I was very Can excited I send you the about. Picture Marty to yeah, post. Send the picture. Yeah, 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 yeah. So I was in that thing all fucking weekend. What a, I don't ever want to hear people in wheelchairs complain about it ever again because it is fun. I don't think they're complaining fun, about fun, they're, they're fun, in a wheelchair. Fun. I think they're complaining their life was taken from them uh, okay. and they can't walk anymore. Now, I was confused on the two, but we, I sent Joey this photo of me. It was so much fun the weekend. Um, I'm probably going to hell after doing that. But like I said, when you're in your thirties, it's good to have a once a quarter where you have a night where you just go out. Oh yeah. And you're drinking. And What's you're a quarter? Laughing. Once every month? A quarter, four times a year, dear. Oh. And you're having a great time. And that's exactly what we did. I miraculously was not hungover at all. Zach was on his fucking deathbed. And my hangovers are horrendous. Did, was he doing the same um, uh, libations as you were? Oh, yeah. You know what's crazy, though? You ever go to a... What's the one next to Boom Boom Room with the big, like, spindly wooden thing? Labane? Mm -hmm. I don't know what it is. That was... Up top or Labane? Yeah, or that was a nightmare. It, it would have been your absolute hell, just filled with gays, which is fine. But it was just, well, I haven't been. <laughs> not, unless there was a, not unless there was gasoline and a fucking mess. <laughs> <laughs> 
I just haven't been in an environment where Pete, where you walk in and people stare you up and down like that. It was so sexually charged. Well, they knew you didn't belong there. It was exactly that's what it was. Like, who's this fucking giraffe walking in? It was so sexually charged. I just wasn't used to it. It was uncomfortable. It was like no one was talking. Everyone was just sizing everyone up. It was too much. Sick. Um, I saw um, that that loose lipped. Here we go. I'm not talking about her mouth. I'm talking Here about her pussy. Go. That loose lipped Alex Bennett slithered her way out to the Hamptons. I did. The Ben, the Mean Girls are alive. Miss Bennett showed up in a cowboy boots, a denim skirt, and a again <laughs> with a <laughs> with a turquoise power blazer on and extensions down to her asshole. She walked in. What was She's that a vision. Floozy? What was that floozy Bennett. doing? A Bennett? Yeah. What was she? Do- what was she up to? Was she knows. mixing? Was she just mixing lemonade and uh, moonshine out in the backyard? Yeah. Of- Yes, yeah. some estate saying, she, now I'm going to drink these two things. She was working the steel <laughs> in the back. No, we had a cocktail. It was great. And then she went her separate way and we went out to eat. And Did you get to go that. swimming? Yeah, we went swimming. Are you going to come out? Oh, I'm te- I did, did I tell you about our bash that we're having this summer? The gay bash? We're having the gay bash. We're having a massive party. Yeah, massive ch- party. The biggest party to ever hit the Hamptons. Zach and I were throwing. in August, allegedly. Probably not. Not for nothing. I don't do think it. Zach can handle that. Talk to me, babe. Talk, no, talk to him because he's going to see this. I don't think that you're prepared. First of all, I just know there's not going to be enough ice. Oh, here we. Well, that's where you come in. We're hiring you to, as a talent. ice. How are you going to feed all those people? You're working the party. You're, you've already said you're going to prepare dishes. I, no, we have to. We have to like hire. Yeah, we're going to hire. We have a budget. Who's coming? Who's, who's serving? Who's serving the Is dishes? There be a bartender? Of course, there's going to be a bartender. There's okay. going to be bartenders. There's going to be servants there's going to be people helping a lifeguard out. and i and i actually have an opportunity for you i would like to put you in charge of the help because oh, i know I that nana to. runs a tight ship like it's the navy do you know i tried to suck brandon walker's cock no i mm. tried to hire the cleaning lady here to come to my house and help me with something that is so <laughs> inappropriate i can't even begin. i can't even begin. i approached i approached i said what are they paying you here mademoiselle <laughs> <laughs> I said, listen, I have an offer that you can't refuse. It's four ninety nine. No, first I needed hour. her to wait at my house for delivery, and then I needed her to help me with my spice rack. <laughs> you don't but need help myself. with a spice rack. You don't need help with a spice. Will you actually come out and party and have fun? If if it's if if accommodations are, are I, I told I you have accommodations. Zoe's Joey Zoe Joey is a great house guest. We yeah, very I good at bed. Party. I strip the bed when you leave. I cook. I clean. I take the garbage out. I greases your whistle and gives you a windy on the way out the door. I rummage through your panty drawer. <laughs> Try take what I see fit and <laughs> go on my merry way. <laughs> um, speaking of panties and hot bodies, did you relapse on the on the women's clothing? Ciao. No, it's, I don't think I did. I um, thought about, about Joel it, McHale. Oh did yeah, his chest. Yeah, Joel McHale is way more handsome in person than he is. Oh, I already knew. Did you? He's taller than I thought. Yeah, he's my height. He's embraced. Yeah, he's I mean, I've been hanging out with very tall men lately. Me and Gronk were just hanging out the other day. Oh, yeah. I've been talking about that. that. I heard Camille Cossack is a fan of our show or did you make that up? I don't know if she's a fan of our show, but she's definitely a fan of me. Okay. I don't know if it's, if it's me, if it's, me and, if it's happening podcast with Snooki and Joey or if it's from What's it called? <laughs> out in a <laughs> yeah. Well, we got to find out. We got to get her. We got to get her. Um, yeah, so I was at, I went to the sport. I, I weaseled my way into the Sports Illustrated party. Oh, yes. We, so so uh, last time we were here, it was Caitlin Bristow. Bristow. I should have went to that. I should have skipped Long Island and went to the fucking party. Yeah. So I, I, I weaseled my way in. I, caught my, I, I, I emailed them randomly, got myself on the list. Not only did that, I got myself on the red carpet as well. I saw you working on the red carpet. I yeah. saw you in, in the All Saints silk shirt. And no, not pant. All Saints. That was something else. What was it? Sandro. San- Sandro? Sandro from Paris? I don't know. For, oh, it's from Paris. Bur- yeah. Paris is burning? Paris Nana is was burning. burning? I saw you working in your linen pant. I no boot pa- scarf, which was no interesting. Boot I, went with, I went with a woven slipper. Yes, your Easter slipper. So I get uh, there no, the and I well. see that my, my, my dreams is there. Gronk, uh, Rob Gronkowski. He likes to be called Robbie, told me. So yeah, I saw Rob. you like gooning over him before you went. You were just standing there in the corner like. <laughs> we have a good friend of comedy. He said he's friends with a guy that works here named Devlin. And I thought he was talking about Devin. <sighs> The girl. But yeah, we chatted up for a little bit. Um, his sister-in-law, Camille's sister, is the real fan. She asked for a picture of me because her husband, her fiance, is a big fan of mine. Who's that? I don't know, but I told Rob, I said, you know, I'm more concerned that your brother, your future brother-in-law is listening to a gay podcast. <laughs> your future brother-in-law's gay. He's a fan of Joey's. Uh, but yeah, me and Gronkowski had a great time. Um, me and Creighton and Bristow had a good time. Bay came with me. What time did and you had, get home? Um... We ended up back at Caitlin's um, hotel room after we, we, go. we went to, we got a, we got a table we at go. the blonde. We went to oh, um, God. some restaurant that Haley knew what it was. I didn't know what it was. Uh, it's called Taco Bell. Temple <laughs> Bar. 
Oh. Oh, okay. Yeah. Is yeah, that yeah. what it's called? Maybe. That's where know. the sushi went up on the IG. I saw that. That wasn't sushi, was it? Yeah, it was. Sushi? I don't know. So, oh, yeah, those cucumber things. Yeah, yeah. Um, a very cute bar. Very nice uh, little restaurant bar. We went there. And then we, um, then we went back to Caitlin's hotel room. And the rest is history. We can't say what happened. You had you had a threesome with Caitlin. <laughs> we pretty much did. We no, we it was me, Bay, her, and our friend, and uh, we drank Spade and Sparrow wine and just kind of got caught up on girls girl chat, um, ate snacks. You know, did you steal any of her panties? And be honest, no, you they thought were about all it. filthy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, speaking of filthy panties, Joel McHale is on the show today. And yeah. ladies, you're gonna have filthy panties after you see this. He looks hot. He's wearing sheer. John Rivados, you can see his nipples if you if you squint just the right way. What a handsome, um, talented, funny, humble person. Charming, charming, tall and tan. Mm, he smelled he, amazing too. He was great. Um, so we're gonna get to the Joel McHale interview in a moment. But we want to talk to you about GodHates.com. We want to talk to you about GodHates.com. No, we want to talk to you guys about Mamitas. Love Mamitas. Now you're talking about the cocktail pack. I'm talking about. The cocktail pack. I'm talking about let's live mucho this summer with our favorite tequila seltzer, Mamitas. It's time for mucho sun, mucho music, and yes. mucho tequila. Mamitas comes in seven delicious favors. Mango, Mango pineapple, pineapple, lime, lime. Um, and the cocktail pack. And the cocktail pack, spicy margarita, yep. paloma, yep. classic margarita, yep. and tequila, tequila sunrise. sunrise. Boom, Nana knows it well. We were drinking them all weekend. The drink of summer made with real tequila. And the best part, it's only 95 Five calories. calories. And it's gluten-free, so even fat people can have it. It's awesome. So check out Mamitas at gomamitas.com or order, or order on GoPuff. Um, we love Mamitas. We're going to bring it to our pride party that we're hosting coming up. Yeah, here. it's sponsored by Mamitas. Yeah, we absolutely love Mamitas. So make sure you check that out. Um, and now check out our interview with Joel, Joel McHale. You look so good. Yeah, I should. I'm covered in hair and makeup. I know. I can see that. I can see you look really. Extra, and I'm all in today. white. I'm dressed uh, like but, Colonel Sanders, like Jesus Christ himself. I like how sheer that top yes. is. It just leaves just enough to the imagination where I'm still turned on, but That's I can right. still be a lady. I asked for the 40 percent nipple uh, exposure. Uh, he told Joey told me something. I told him to look up your naked pool scene from Community, and he said something. I've already had very it. Very dirty to me. I didn't say something dirty. I said that. Mm. You used oh, to pleasure yourself yes. too. The idea of there? him. Right. You look exactly like a guy that cheated on me back in the day that ruined my life. Oh, that for the mental breakdown. Yeah. So I no, that was the, this is a different mental breakdown. But you remind me of him a lot. Well, he sounds fabulous. He is. Uh, what's the green screen? What are we showing? It's a dealer's choice. Whatever you want to be behind yeah, you, we can put up. We should like to put the January scene? 6th riot. Oh, that's fun. That's <laughs> we like that. that. Choose whatever you like, though. Just like Barstool Sports. What a sporting event <laughs> yeah. that was. We have fun. the Viking hat on you right now. You just don't know it. It's great. <laughs> that guy, I hope he's getting his organic uh, groceries. Oh, my walking. God. Yeah. yeah. Um, Joel anyway, that was it. I brought it to a Palm Springs, one of my favorite movies. And I'm not kidding. Marty, did you make him wear that shirt today? This shirt? Yeah, yeah, Marty and I talked this morning. Yeah, we did. We DM'd. Oh, have exciting. you seen Palm Springs? I've Annie never even Sandberg? I've never even been to Palm Springs. Where you don't you? have to go to Palm Springs to watch the movie. I thought that was the rule. No, that's not how movies work. Oh. Did you go to Tatooine before you, you saw to be Palm Springs? Of course. To wear a caftan and be gay on the strip. <laughs> a little Andre Leon Talley action? Yeah. Rest in peace. God rest his soul. Absolutely. No. But now let's go watch Palm Springs. Why don't we show a, a little card of Palm Springs the movie with Andy Sandberg? Um, so here we are. Marty, Sports. you got this for Joel. You're a big, a big whiskey guy. Scotch I do whiskey. Love, this is the Balvenie. Uh, this is the Caribbean cask, which if you were to take this and uh, take a little bit of the scotch, rub it in your hands, there's a slight tropical smell. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. They you aged it in rum barrels the last two years. I want to try it. Maybe not now, but I mean, you can time. get, well, I'm going to go exercise after this. You work out oh, a lot? You can Every tell. day. And what's your, what's your routine? Well, I look in a mirror and I burst out crying for half an hour. <laughs> And then I feel, I'm like, okay, I, got, I think I got that out. And then the mirror just says to me back without me saying anything, no, you didn't. Were you like that <laughs> and then Hollywood? I get really scared and I run. What? Were you like that before Hollywood or did that make you feel that way? Well, as you probably looked up on my Wikipedia page, I played a lot of sports. Sure. And so there was a lot of working out. But during the pandemic, uh, I was like, if I don't exercise every day, I'm just going to drink red wine until yeah. I become 400 pounds. <laughs> So my rule was every day and people are like, but you're, you're not going to get your gains that way. It doesn't matter. It's more of a, so it's oh. between 40 and 60 every day. A minute. 40 and 60 minutes. No. What, what else would it be? Well, I don't Seconds? know. Seconds? <laughs> like, and I'm done. That could be for me. <laughs> could you get big if you wanted to? 
I feel like you're naturally thin. Like, is your struggle to put on weight and muscle, or is your struggle? Oh to no, lose I can weight? put on weight like a like a can. Really? Uh, I have recently begun doing a lot more. Uh, I love. I used to play tennis as a kid, and now I've rediscovered it, and now I can't get it. I, I can't stop watching it too. Do you that have a tennis and, court at your house? Fuck yeah! Oh I'm God. rich. <laughs> I know. How exciting! I've done great. No, I know. What are you, are you just <laughs> sitting around <laughs> for the last twenty like years trying to make money. <laughs> <laughs> the green screen. That, that was an insulting question. Does he have a tennis court? Yeah, I know he does because I searched. I searched the Google um, Google Earth, and I've been in the backyard for the past three weeks. <laughs> Why don't you just say I googled Earth your home, and then I know you have a tennis court, and I just and then I'd be like, okay. absolutely, yeah, no. Uh, anyway, great play the other day, by the way. Great what? Great play the other day. <laughs> oh, thank you. That was beautiful. That, that was, was beautiful. amazing. That drone was actually Joey in the, in the yeah, backyard. Was he was in the white shot. van. Try to get it. Uh, no, I used to be much bigger, and now I'm much smaller. I never remember you. Like as a youth, you were bigger. Oh yeah, much bigger. Oh, when I played football, I was much. Do bigger. you carry that trauma with you? Carry that what trauma with you? She comes oh, no. to the gay podcast. We <laughs> talk about her her nipples. Oh, no, 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 it's no. all about it body was, image. <laughs> yeah, no, it, was, it, was, it was muscle. It wasn't fat. Come oh, on. it was muscle. Yeah. Oh, play football. I was going to say, stand up. Give us a truffle shuffle, son. Let's, see, right. what, let's see, what, uh, <laughs> see what we're Thanks for coming out, everybody. <laughs> let's yeah. see what we're working with. Um, mm. Talk to us about- Do I get a hat? <laughs> talk to us about your new show, Animal Control. Thank you for <gasps> mentioning that. Of also, course. we'll get to Crime Scene Kitchen. Yeah, yes. and June, Crime Scene Kitchen. I love both of them. Uh, Animal Control is uh, about the people that uh, will come to your home and take away a raccoon that's gotten into your laundry room. or I love raccoons. Uh, or, you know, a coyote if you live in Southern California, or a snake if you live in Florida. But this, uh, it's though, it's those people it's a so it's a uh workplace comedy and um i got to put a tarantula on my face are there real animals on the show no 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 they're all stuffed no they're not like there's not cgi ones <laughs> they've all been they're all no tech, they're all faked no. here <laughs> no uh, every, every one for the most part they're as yeah. real as we we as we can make them they're all uh, either rescues or uh and the, everyone always asks and they were like Yes, yeah, so the Humane Society is on set for every minute. I'm sure, and uh, and they're put outside. they're put down after, of course. Oh, the, oh absolutely, it's yes. Canada. That's where we should <laughs> yeah, yeah. And uh, and there's many people that where I can don't even joke. And I'm like, uh, so I would send photos to my wife, going like, today we had a bobcat, and I was holding. And she was like, you really did oh, the that's perfect a job for yourself. No, and, I love animals so much. I love talking animals even better. Well, that's not a thing. You yeah. mean like a parrot? Well, no, like I like when there's like a voiceover of an animal talking. You know, that's not real. No. I know. Okay. But like, I like to, I like to imagine that, that they are real. What's imagine they did talk to you. If animals talk to me. Yeah. In English or any language. Yeah. I mean, just imagine like when that, <laughs> how much cooler that would be. It would be. If they talked. Uh, yeah. But then we'd feel bad. Yeah. They're like, well, why would we feel so bad? Well, because they're like, oh, I have to put you on a leash and walk you. And it's fair. Like, no, Some people like, are into that. That is true. Some people are very into that. Are you into that? It sounds like you I are. I mean, I've dabbled. I mean, listen, What's I don't, I don't kink thing shame. You've done? The strangest thing I've done just oh, in general. I, you're too PG for that. We can't oh, get yeah, I don't know. I don't know if we want to go there. Uh, so know. anyway, it's on Fox. Okay. We just wrapped our, well, we just ended. They're going to reshow it this summer. And then we got picked up. Thank, why am I mentioning this? And, uh, <laughs> but you know, with the writer strike, uh, it's going to get I pushed for a long time. Uh, yeah. And so we'll see, hopefully sooner than later, just as long as the writers get, you know, way more money. Yeah. Do you think that I make you pick a side on the writer's strike? I'm on the writer's side. <laughs> I'm not, not, not going to Go producers. Yeah. You got to run across the picket Come line. Come on, studio. Believe it or not. Believe it or not. <laughs> yeah, that would be like rooting for casinos to beat people. <laughs> right, you're rooting for the Unless house. Unless you work for, okay. Uh, um, you've been doing a lot of scripted stuff lately though, but I love your stand-up. Like I loved you in the late night format. Is that oh, something you would ever you get the, back to? Well, the soup. Yeah. Uh, like, is that I, we tried on, yeah. on Netflix? We tried the Joel McHale show and it turns out nobody wanted to watch anything on time. <laughs> uh, and, but um, the, the show has gone on to be more popular than Tiger King yep. and Orange is the New Black combined. Oh, she's a humble queen. I know. I'm just lying. <laughs> uh, I w uh, I don't know. I don't know if yeah. uh, uh, I don't know if they want. Uh, uh, I would try. It. I should do it on YouTube or something. But you yeah. uh, should do it on. It's so entertaining. Uh, but God bless you. Uh, but I, you know, now the way that information is uh, de uh, decimated. Thank you. No, uh, the way it's it, the way it breaks down now. It's instantaneous. You know, on right. Reddit, if you if something just you know, it's already. There, so I guess I need to start a Reddit channel and just be standing by my a subreddit. A subreddit, yeah, and be like, "Oh, hey, uh, a bike crash happened," and they. How does it work on Netflix? So, like, this is like a little 
businessy of a question. Is it like there are so many people that have to watch by a certain time and then that's the metric that they use? Or is it like, Oh, I, what's there like? I think the metric is just, did people watch it? Just in, yeah. just in general, did people watch yeah. it? Yeah. I mean, now to drop another show I was on, Community. Uh, <laughs> Loves that. that show didn't become truly popular, I think. And t- it had a very good cult following when it was on. But then when it went in, in streamers, and I think especially Netflix, uh, but Peacock bought the movie. So thanks, Peacock. Uh, <laughs> and uh, that's during the pandemic is when it really began to gain popularity. And like when I would do stand up was always soup people and some community. And that has completely flipped since the soup's been on off for so long and no one remembers it. I think people, I definitely I think I people, I definitely, host. I was thinking about <laughs> it the other day. Uh, uh, the soup was kind of like TikTok before TikTok existed. Like it was oh, kind of reacting yeah, to yeah. like the most relevant things at the time. So like we would, yeah, if TikTok was around, like y'all's clips mm. would have just gone absolutely bananas. I, we, I oh, done, yeah. yeah. I mean, without Flavor Flav, we would have, <laughs> the show would have been half as long. Flavor of Love. Remember, I love New York. Yeah, I love her. I just, I, yeah, I can't believe I'm promoting all these shows. I'm Tiffany, okay. Tiffany, <laughs> Tiffany Pollard. Yeah, Tiffany, Tiffany Pollard. Pollard. The HBIC. Uh, yeah, well, you I am hosting else. a new show called House of Villains, where they take all the villains oh from, my those, God. from those That's reality a tennis shows. Court. So like Omarosa, Tiffany jobs. Pollard, Tanisha's there. Johnny Omarosa. Bananas, oh, Johnny God. Fairplay. Uh, Who's Jax? Johnny Fairplay? He was on Survivor yeah. and pretended he lied that his grandmother had passed away. Oh, classic. And uh, <laughs> and so uh, what's her name? Uh, uh, I can't remember. Uh, the, uh, she's from The Bachelorette. You know. Caitlin Bristow. Uh, Caitlin Bristow. <laughs> Olympus, yeah. yes. Uh, so anyway, they're all there. They're all competing. And it's like Big Brother and they get voted off. And How and fun. I just sit there and make fun. You just did a show. We, we yeah, a I show. just did a show in in Denver. It was like uh, Sleep in a Tent. Survivor meets Fear Factor. Oh, and for, it was, where, for who? For Barstool. here, Barcelona. It's called Barcelona's Most Dangerous Game. It was, I wouldn't wish camping in those conditions on my worst enemy. De- Colorado is the worst state in the union. I said this on the last show. You mm. can't breathe when you get there. It's freezing cold. The weather is unpredictable. We were camping. The airport is so close to Denver. The air, the airport's so close to Denver. It's, it's 75 right miles from where you need to go. It's in Kansas. It's in Kansas. Basically. Exactly. That was a joke, everyone. It's far yeah. away. It's far. Exactly. That was far. sarcasm. Thank you, Joey. Thank you I'm for getting keeping it. up. <laughs> you sound like my mother-in-law. Oh, <laughs> what you're saying is not true. <laughs> okay, great. Uh, I just woke up. I'm sorry. What time of the year did you do it? This is like a week ago. Oh. It was It was hell. I'm never going back what to Colorado. What altitude were you at? Uh, like 8,500 feet. Oh yeah. So that's no joke. Yeah. And I thought I was in shape too, but I couldn't breathe. I didn't think you were in shape. (laughs) Thank you. Uh, (laughs) And that's the interview folks. (laughs) Wait, so are, were you just to get that, were there camera crews or did you have oh, yeah. to set up the, uh, cause there's a couple of those shows where they right. just give you naked and pros. afraid. Yeah. Like, no. uh, what's the one dual survival or whatever on discovery. You right. Know, they, they set up their own. No, there was, this was, there was camera crews in your face six days. Yeah. You would have, you would have killed yourself if you had to go on that. I show. wouldn't have gone. You would have quit the, sh- you would have quit the company if you had to go on that. Yeah. <laughs> Here, let's never. just do that. Well, I'm going to get to the scotch in a second. We're going to do the little smell test. I'll show yes. you. Yeah. Uh, so, but, uh, you hate Denver. No, it, no, I love Denver. Okay. Uh, I, although you have a uh, show, you have a show coming up there. Uh, I did last week. <laughs> okay. I literally had a show like last that. week. You're still, still, yeah, still a couple literally. tickets left. Yeah. Uh, I did a stand up show with yeah. Ms. Chelsea Handler. I and, love Chelsea oh, love Handler. Uh, Jay Farrow and Adam Ray. And, mm. uh, but what am I saying? Uh, yeah, Chelsea's, she killed it. Uh, 70 minutes. And, uh, uh, but so I like the part where you're like, that was so hard. Like you, yeah. You were setting up tents, you were sleeping, and the freaking crew is just sitting there with cameras going like, oh yeah, keep going, it's hard for you. <laughs> it was the, I felt bad were for those Were they warm? Guys. Yeah, they were. Yeah, well, they were provided gear. We were provided nothing. Now I'm just going to sound like an asshole. It was a hard show. That's all, that's all I'll say. And I Oof. didn't win. Wait, what were you wearing when you, the, the first day you're setting up the tent, what are you wearing? I'm wearing um, bleach stained champion sweatpants and a Hanes white undershirt. Were you wearing undergarments? I was wearing Calvin Klein briefs and these Reebok shoes, actually. Okay. And, and they, they actually bought me shoes when I got there, but it was, yeah, it was brutal. Are you so outdoorsy? You say, I'll go with you. Uh, I'm outdoorsy in the sense that uh, I go camping once a year and that stopped now because my kids are no longer in that school. So- what do you uh, mean your kid, your kid? Like were, we had an annual camp uh, out, gotcha. which we, I would just rent a pickup truck and then basically bring an apartment for three days up to <laughs> Idlewild. 
uh, <laughs> and I was like, this isn't my little brother is a true like mountain climber and he does all that and goes on 30 mile oh hikes God. and you yeah. grew up in Washington state. The Pacific I did. North. So that's like an outdoorsy place to by Ross Matthews by Ross Matthews. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, go Seahawks. Ross Matthews and I, we're also on uh, he's a wonderful man. Oh, he's we just had him on. He's, yeah. He is quick. Yeah. I don't know if you can still hear me. He's quick yeah. as hell. Uh, All right. We're taking a quick break from interview with Joel McHale to talk to you guys about HelloFresh. Flavor is in bloom at HelloFresh. Enjoy the tastes of spring with chef crafted recipes featuring ripe seasonal ingredients delivered right to your door. That's right. Now that's what after I was purging my whole house, got my spice rack all thrown out. I also threw out everything in my fridge because I had my HelloFresh order that came yesterday. So I have meals for the entire week now. I'm not going to, I'm not going to go off my diet unless there's a slip up, but I, I, if things going as planned, (laughs) HelloFresh has got me ready for the week. I have meals. I, I order four meals tonight because I pretend there's four people in the house, but I go because I want to have you have leftovers. So me and Bay eat, and then we have we have uh, lunch for the next day. Yep. So I always order the four pack, but I love it because you can kind of eat. I'm doing the calorie smart one right now. Yep. But no matter what your dietary restrictions are, they have it for you. You just get the box, put it in the fridge, and when you're ready to cook the meal, take your meal card out, find out your ingredients that are going to be in there, take out the pot and pan they recommend. Start cooking. A dinner's on the table within 20 minutes, most most meals, and it's healthy, fresh. You're saving so 25% less uh, money than if you yes. take out and grocery stores. You, who wants to go lugging things? We're in New York City, or no matter where you are, no one has time to go to the grocery store. We have kids doing things. We have boyfriends doing things. We're, we're busy beavers. We don't got time for the grocery store. And that's the best part about it, like you said. There's a lot of good parts, but it's so much cheaper than going to the grocery store or ordering things. And I get it. A meal kit it's, it's a scary thing. It's a lifestyle change. I'm used to eating what I'm eating. I don't know if I want to switch it up, but if you get HelloFresh, you're not going to regret it. The best thing is all of the stuff comes in one box. Yep. So even if you're not a pro in the kitchen, HelloFresh's foolproof recipes arrive pre-portioned and easy to prepare in just a few steps. Check it out. It's one more thing you can check off the list. You don't have to worry about what you're going to eat. You know you got your HelloFresh at home. Yes. So go to HelloFresh.com slash out and about 16 and use code out and about 16 for 16 free, free meals, meals and plus free shipping. Free shipping. Um, and make sure you go to HelloFresh dot com slash out and about 16 and use code out and about 16 for 16 free meals plus free shipping. I bet Joel McGill is on HelloFresh. I bet Mike, Mikey G's on HelloFresh. You got that right. Uh, now back to our interview with Joel McGill. Uh, I'm not going to drink this right now, but I want to I want to put it in my hands. So, uh, yeah, what is it? What are we doing My here? friend Lorne, who works for Balvenie. So, okay. so you were just going to take How a exciting. little, like literally, if you can see this on camera, it doesn't matter. You just take. We're taking a booze bath with Joel McHale. Just a little in your hand. And go like that. All right. This is very erotic. And then <laughs> you go. You can just smell a little. It smells a little, and I say uh, a, like a bit like rum, a little just or coconut. This but is so don't, excited. But don't, make sure it doesn't stay that wet. Make sure it's almost all shit. That was too much. Give him some of that. Come here. And now make sure it almost completely evaporates. You can just smell like, and there's also like a, a Ooh, cigar. There's so a cigar. <laughs> it smells like cigars too, if you can smell that. Oh yeah. Oh my God. I yeah. would never think to do that. Yeah, it's it's because of the rum cask. And I hope Fox will ship this to me. Because <laughs> I only have ch- uh, carry on luggage like this trip. Cigars. Yeah. Oh, it really nice. smells like the, uh, an unlit cigar. You really get that warm. <laughs> She's trying to, did Hold you just on, get just right. just there's any caramel notes? <laughs> yeah. So I'm you got into freezes. this Hold just on. when you started getting money, you got into this stuff or you were always into? No, before I was, uh, when I had no money, <laughs> when I married my, my wife, who I came to the marriage with a Nissan Sentra and a boombox. <laughs> was she rich? Uh, she definitely had more money uh, and she had a job. Oh. And her family, before I got on TV, thought I was like a ne'er-do-well. Yeah. They were like, you're just, because my wife is super hot she did like extremely good student and they were like you with the fucking actor yeah <laughs> oh you're gonna want another night and then all of a sudden i got on tv in seattle and they were like isn't he great we always knew we, we always just knew, knew they were like you should marry an accountant you should marry a lawyer and i'm like yeah did you ever model when just you're wait no you didn't no no i, I think i could see it you uh very kind, and now you're my favorite. Thank you. Uh, no, careful, I, careful, Joel. Mm. We're, we're all be careful over. I feel like I, I'm good looking yeah. for a comedian, but regular good looking, forget it. No, you you have some leading seen leading man roles. Yeah, well, now that I yeah. put all this hair in me, yeah. yeah. Oh, do you have fake what hair? You, oh, yeah, tons of it. Did what, you go to Turkey to get it done? I was just gonna say. No, no, no. It's, it's oh, not you have real money. You yeah, when you go to, to LA, when you have money, you go to LA. Yeah, got it. 
Yeah. Tourists go to Turkey. It looks and, great. Uh, <laughs> on a free flight, they all get on a big, a big bus and go out there to yeah. Turkey. Well, that's what they, yeah. I mean, that's what Mercedes Sprinter van. No, they, they, they emailed me before. They wanted me to go out to Turkey for free. But I am, uh, yeah, oh, you have gray hair. hair. I'm drinking Ozempic every day. I mean, it's not working. I take Ozempic. Yeah, how's it going? Good. I'm down 35 pounds. Did you forget to eat? Yeah. Is it weird? No. It just seems weird. Do you take it? No. How oh, dare I was gonna you? say, you're hot. <laughs> uh, He's offended. No, because it's, it's, I know it's now that it literally has passed Viagra as the most popular uh, yeah. prescription drug. In I history. take both. You do? I take Viagra too. Do you ever mix them up? Well, you know, they're for like, different I'm things. I'm not losing any weight, but look at this bone. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> My cock is rock hard, but uh, you, you have knockoff Viagra. You don't have to Wait, how thing. long have you been on? Uh, oh, Zimpec? Yeah. Like almost a year. And so 35 down. Yeah. And you. But I haven't changed my diet or worked out or anything. It just happens naturally. But imagine if you did. I, I don't know. I normally lose weight very quickly. But I was on it probably because I think it's, it's like they were preventative. So I didn't get even fatter and like a diabetes. Yeah. Wait. Well, so <laughs> what's the, what does it feel like? Just like, you know, like you feel like you're fuller, you get fuller quicker. So like, you know, I can eat like four slices of pizza and this one, I have like one or two, like, like one and a half. And you're like, oh my God, I'm full. Oh, so it's not like you for, it's not like your brain. You just eat yeah, less. Do a mini stroke and be like, you don't ever, you won't remember to eat. <laughs> no, no, I remember. But you have, what um, is it, like the GERD or whatever they call it? Agita? Yeah. It's you get like you can't, you a little bit. You can't swallow food. Like it's not that serious. Things. It's not. No. You, you, well, you beat it. Yeah, I beat it. Because originally I had that. And then I just, no. you know, kept eating and then it went away. Well, you look great. Thank you. I'm not going to, no, yeah. Uh, yeah. So it's so working. You. How expensive is it? Oh, I get it for free. I don't know. The doctor just gives it to me. It's on my insurance. This part of the show brought to you by Ozempic. Or <laughs> I wish. What's the other one? Mer- Mo- Mangovi. Wagovi. Yeah. Mangio- Mangiorno? Mangiorno. 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 Yeah, Mangiorno. that sounds like a Are you tan? knockoff pizza. Is that your natural color? Maybe uh, you're just wearing white. Well, this is like bronzer. I know. And I think the white, I never wear Who white. Who makes that outfit? John Varvatos. Thanks, John. Oh. <laughs> Including, I guess I should get this. The, I oh, I thought he was popping the top. They gave you the jacket too? You got the tag. I still got the tag in there. Oh, wow. Anyway. Uh, Your hair does look fantastic. So you did Kelly and Ryan before you came here and they just had clothes set up for you. And they're like, if you no, they're in my wear- hotel room because the uh, Fox hired my uh, stylist stylist from who I've known since 2004 that wow. bought all the suits for uh, the soup. So we have uh, oh. well, been now friends for 20 years, but that's who I play tennis with. I'm trying to be like Joe Jose McHale. Camilo. Yeah. He's great. Sandra, why, don't, why, is there, why is there no clothes in my dressing room when I got here today? It's weird. She wow, rolls, what an just answer. Ro- yeah, just rolls her eyes. That's the best <laughs> answer. And she would just be like, what? She doesn't really feel You never fucking asked. <laughs> is it true you're taking over for Tucker Carlson? Yes. Mm. I heard that too. Yeah, I heard I that. I signed a $35 million a year deal. I'm wow. excited. That's amazing. It's going to be a lot of animals. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Like, well, they today on the show, Taylor Green over here. <laughs> <laughs> we have werewolf. a snow leopard. Uh, uh, yeah. High on Benadryl. I'm excited. Uh, What's the next? What's the next? What do we got next? What's next? Um, How long have you been doing the show, you guys? We've been doing this for like a year. Like a year. year and why and a half. does it look like the door, like people are fighting to get out of here? <laughs> they, 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 <laughs> why does it? Why do. does it look like the something happened? Uh, they threw coffee cups against they it as part of a part that. of another show. What show? Barstool Sports Advisors. Is they tell you how to gamble. Okay. And then we lose the gamble. I'm thing. putting it all on the crack. I play a weather girl over there. <laughs> my crack and lost. Can you guys. T- explain what the concept of crime scene kitchen is? It's yes, a, it's a very, it's a very, it is. for asking it's a very, uh, crime scene kitchen. Yeah. yeah. It's a very, what? It's like a very unique concept. It's like they, you make desserts and then they have to guess what the, well, what it's they, actually, yeah. yeah. So we get, yeah. you, it starts out on a world war two German submarine. All the, <laughs> all the controls are in German. So the bakers have to figure that out and get it across the Atlantic. And it's already been hit by a couple of depth charges. <laughs> I've lost track of what, no. So, um, it is the baking teams. We'd love to have you. You yep. know how to bake? Yes. yes. I, I was on chopped. Were you really? Yeah. Fuck. Yeah. That's what was going to. And I'm gay, you. so I can bake. No, you can't. Yes, I can. I, I used to bake sweaters up. in your oven. Stereotype. Yeah. yeah. That's What's a true one. Oh, so <laughs> true. Oh, well, you got to be pretty good. Are you pretty good? I'm decent. Yeah. I so, know what it is. Do you want me to tell you what it is? Yeah. Well, there's you, you go onto the thing and there's like a crumb of like a blueberry cobbler, but they have to like eat it and they have to like eat the crumbs and they have to figure out what was fucking made there before they were there. That's right. So there's just little evidence of something that was baked or cooked or whatever. And then you get two minutes to kind of look for the evidence. 
And then they're like, now you have six hours to try and recreate. She does is. that trying to find who was in the glory hole last. <laughs> I feel like what's so you have like a DNA test. Well, she, she'll taste the sample and then she'll go around and find the gentleman that it matches with. Accordingly, yeah, then I'll walk around the I'll walk around the is restaurant. Like, I'll maybe, say that tasted like, you know, spicy Szechuan food. He's eating that. That could be the guy. Yeah, yeah. but that's, you know, like how many there's so many meat eaters in that restaurant. That's true. More than one way. That's true. This is season two of this. This comes out on May 22nd. The glory hole thing. The glory hole. Uh, and you'll be hosting that as that's a You'll be hosting off. that as well. She'll be hosting that as well. Allison from Fox is like, dear God, can you try to say glory hole yet? Yeah, we're going to not as much when promoting the show. We're going to get the list after this. Just go ahead and cut uh, all but the yeah. rub. No, we're on season two and I hope for yeah. season three, Allison. Yeah. So uh, I think the premise is really great and the teams are really great. And uh, and I'm not saying that because, well, they, they casted yeah. well. They don't just get, you know, schlubs that don't say anything. Uh, you have to get people that, you know, can talk a little bit on camera. And there, and I, not kidding, I put on nine pounds each season. Ooh. Because I, I'm going to go like, I'm still going to exercise, but I'm going to eat like a, eat like, like it's a career. Right. And, uh, <laughs> the bass cake is one of my favorites. Oh, it's like a cheesecake bass cake. Without the, uh, it's cheesecake uh, without a crust, but <clears throat> they burn the cheese slightly on the outside. Ooh. And it's. And what's the prize if you win? A date with Joel McHale. Yeah, I think you get a bottle of uh, of, of used Glen I would have said Ben. <laughs> Thank Lippet. you, Lauren. Uh, no, uh, Lauren, uh, who represents the company. Uh, but I know that so there's very. Not, there was probably Lauren who got this. Uh, anyway, uh, <laughs> yeah, I think it's like a hundred grand. Is it a hundred grand? Wow, not bad. Uh, it's it's two fifty. Yeah, it's a lot of money. Two fifty. Yeah, that's more than Drag Race. Yeah. I don't think we would. Have, uh, we speaking of Drag Race, boy, that show. You were great on that. Well, yeah, you were on. You were unhinged. Thanks. You were unhinged yeah. on that. That was so much fun. He it was fun. The they didn't know what to make of you. Like well, you were, you were like, going off the rails, and they were well, like, "Well, I'm like, I'm not gonna. I'm don't. I'm gonna be me." Yeah, yeah. And I'm genuinely. I was very excited. It was so fun. Michelle loved me. Uh, yeah. She's so great. Uh, but no, but that show was so dirty in the beginning. Yeah. Like in 2006 when it came on. Yeah. Like the intern who had the first clips were like. We have Back given, when you can say we, email. Yeah, I was like, we have been given a gift. Yeah. And the number of glory hole jokes that were made on that show. There was yeah. things that were like, the like the E censors were like, we can't show this. Yeah. And I was like, it's on TV. <laughs> yeah, they and they're like, we it. can't show it. Oh, and then good. RuPaul came on a few times and. Yep. With her great. pajama pants on. It's crazy to think how big that show has got. Yeah. Since it's 2006. They're like, right. yeah. And how many Emmys have they won? Like, Hundreds. It's incredible. Well, and it became, the show obviously became something. I mean, it became so much more performative for all the huge numbers. Right. And it was, yeah. And like now there's Drag Con and all that. Oh, yeah. That yeah. just happened in LA. Yeah. And it's so, it's, it's a great show too. And RuPaul drives like a pretty, not a very expensive car. I was like, what yeah. are you doing? Yeah. Well, you should see your, you should see your place in Wyoming. You should have a <laughs> Yeah, right? I, I can't imagine. The fracking queen, RuPaul. But, yeah. You're good at everything you, uh, that, you, uh, that you put your mind to, though. Like, seriously, you have so many like, different facets of entertainment you've done. Oh, it's all desperation. No, but you're, you, you, <laughs> you, like, you works in every kind of um, environment. You're just easy to watch and so easy to kind of like think, you know, you're very funny. God bless you. I always said like when people like if you could choose, I was like, why? Who's but wh why? What are we choosing? What, right. Where are we? They're like gun to your head. You have to choose. I was like, wh who, who, who's got the, the gun? Money what, what world is this? So, just yeah, bring what's it all. The, what's the last job you said no to? How much? Like, how much? I just often turned you get down a cameo. Things? Did you, oh. you're on cameo? <laughs> I am. Uh, what are we rocking for price? I bet he charges more. <laughs> oh yeah, of course. Uh, Literally, his price is out. Guess how much you think he? How much he charges? I for get a cameo. booked every week. Guess how much he charges for a cameo? I just want to hear this. Four dollars. Oh, I'm just kidding. Well, I had yeah. to go very low. Of course, low. of course. Uh, I don't know. Probably, it's probably the average charge. I, I don't know. He's pretty high. I'm not that high. Hannah Jenner big. charges twelve hundred dollars. Oh, you're then I bet you I'm three hundred bucks. I'm one fifty. All right, you're one fifty. Yeah, but. I do you do them a lot? I, I, I've, I've been bad with them, but I get them every week. Yeah, but I, I don't do them sometimes. Oh. I get busy. Yeah, at first my publicists and I asked my agents, I was like, they're like, yeah, don't do when it. When you're and like, then, you're, do you have to give it to charity when you're that rich? I do give some of it to charity. Yeah. But I give most of my money away to charity. Same. <laughs> most of most of your most of uh, money to charity. But no, it, uh, I do them because, yeah, because it's, uh, you know. What's no. a typical ask? Like, what do people no, it's all want Joel birthdays, McHale to say? Birthdays, birthdays, happy engagements. birthday. It's weird when it's like a pep yeah. talk for a person Who's from dying the of cancer. person. Yeah. No, they're like, I just need a little lift in the day. I'm like, uh, for the self, for themselves. <laughs> yeah. And I'm like, okay. Yeah. There was the best one uh, I got to do was they're like, we uh, are uh, 
It was a, a couple, heterosexual couple, and during the pandemic, uh, she discovered uh, she was gay, and they were like, "Will you announce to our friends that we're getting a divorce and that I'm gay?" Oh my god! And uh, and I was like, "Absolutely!" Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I have never been more excited. And, and that was Sandra. <laughs> <laughs> she was like, "No free clothes for you." God, that's an ideal one. You have we we don't have any really like crazy good ones. No breakups. Those are like the ideal to have. I think no breakups. I've done like engagement announcements though. Well, yeah. that's cool. Yeah, yeah. yeah. The weird ones are like, hey, put your feet or in the shot. And I'll be like, Creep. oh, really? Yeah. You mu- you would make a killing on OnlyFans, though. I'll tell you that. Uh, someone did tell. I mean, like uh, one of the, like one of my representations was like, you should be on OnlyFans. I'm like, doing what? Yeah. And because and they're like, just do whatever you want. And I feel so, like that's a, it's a dark place. It's, yeah, <laughs> it's a very dark place. There was so a, we just play a- the running man. We select a person to kill, <laughs> and we chase them all night. <laughs> there was a gold rush here for OnlyFans. A lot of the girls here are making like a hundred grand a month doing just like in bikini pics. So we joined, we only got about 15 fans each. So it didn't mm. quite pan out like we thought it was going to. What, you, what was the content? I posted was, myself was, in lingerie. <laughs> it was a very different approach to the content we put on OnlyFans. He, was, he put like dick prints and underwear. No, I would do like I would just like take photos of myself or I would pick photos from my Instagram and then put them on. But you went full blown. Why well, wore lingerie? I gave them, like, what they wanted. I'm talking about the first video. Do you Are think, you um, there? No. and I'm assuming uh, some of yeah. our grandparents came through Ellis Island. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Do you think that our great, great grandfather, great, great grandmother, whatever, were just like someday. I will have my descendants will be posting. Yeah. Pictures of their asshole uh, on the internet. Yeah, uh, innuendo <laughs> dick pics on a website that they can charge money for. Uh, think, hey, sorry. Uh, we do have to wrap, but uh, before we go, uh, I was just wondering, Joel, uh, if, if there's, <laughs> if there's, any, if there's there, anything else I'd yeah. like to plug, if there's any tidbit of the community movie, if we could break maybe a little bit of news on this podcast, could yeah, you give us that? Yeah. Here's the big news. Yeah. It is being pushed. Due to the writer's block. Right. And I don't even know if that's, yeah, I know that. I mean, everything's pushed. Yeah. So that's not really news. No, but thank uh, you. You mean about the story? Uh, it's just anything you can give us. I'm going to be in it. Ooh. Okay. Yeah, I'm in it. I'm in it. Uh, no, there's not, uh, no, since the writer's strike, it's like, it's, you know, things have slowed. So I figured, had to try. Uh, no, I'm right on. But you know what I'm really excited about? Crime Scene Kitchen. Yes. Animal Control. Like at the like yeah, Allison, Animal Control Allison from Fox is so happy. Thursdays nine eight Central, Crime Scene Kitchen. <laughs> wait, Mondays nine eight Central. <laughs> What's on my wait? Animal Control? No, we're talking Animal Control is on Thursdays. Yeah, nine Crime eight. Scene Kitchen is on Mondays after Stars on Mars, which is like they're redoing that that movie The Martian as a oh show. yeah 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 God. Well, you heard it here first. And Matt can, Damon's hosting. Is he? No. Oh. <laughs> Absolutely. And you can not. also catch Joel um, as Tucker Carlson on Fox as well. Yes. Yeah, I start on Tuesday. There. Starting this Tuesday. Start on Tuesday. I got 35, 35 million dollars a year. I can't believe it. Love it. Well, thank well, you for coming. Yeah, uh, you guys are delightful. And if you ever come to LA, oh, we do contact all the time. my reps. Oh, is that her? And I'll see if. And they'll screen the call. She's <laughs> she's left. Okay. <laughs> she's left. Uh, how many people listen to watch this show? 40 million. Wow. This was That's, lovely. This was lovely.